the top 5 cryptocurrencies which have excellent long-term prospects. The demand for DAI stablecoin from Maker will remain at a high level, which means the price of the project management token is gonna increase. So Ethereum's perspective is better than any of the projects I've already mentioned. Welcome to the Coin Post. Today our episode is for those who are willing to risk and invest in cryptocurrencies for mid-term and possibly long-term. As you know, my dear viewers, I may be a Bitcoin maximalist inside, but I believe that a number of altcoins will come into our lives for a long time. And the authors of the English Altcoin Daily channel share my opinion. We've already had them as a part of our Bitcoin reviews. And today I want to share a selection of the top 5 cryptocurrencies which have excellent long-term prospects. So that there's no too many questions, neither their original video nor my retelling of their point of view with my personal comments is a financial recommendation. It's just information to think about. And today we're talking about, drumroll please, about Polkadot, Maker, Ethereum, Synthetics and Compound. And if any of these coins suddenly go to the moon, our YouTube channel will let you know first. So subscribe and ring the bell please, not to miss the most important news. Now it's time to remember your password for the cryptocurrency exchange in case you want to buy something. Let's get into it. We're starting with the Polkadot cryptocurrency for developing which its creators got even accused of betraying Ethereum because it's also on the list of potential Ether killers. If Vitalik Buterin doesn't do it himself, we'll get back to this towards the end. In the meantime, Polkadot is not a new thing. It already has a large and cohesive community of supporters. But this token appeared on the market only in August 2020 and provoked a hype and it got into the first 5 cryptocurrencies by capitalization. At its peak, its price exceeded $6.5, the current rate is more than $4. And as the authors of the Altcoin Daily believe, there's good potential for investment here. The idea of Polkadot is to create a bridge between different blockchains and unite them into one common platform. It's not a revolution really. Cosmos, for example, wants to do something like that. After solving the current problems, Ethereum intends to become a platform too, after which other blockchains will not be needed much. Due to the competition and complexity of the task, we'll have to monitor very closely the state of the Polkadot project. As the altcoin daily rightly pointed out, the prospects for the coin are pretty good. But you're probably gonna have to leave the project early, and I fully share their caution. After all, your money's at stake. And we're moving on to the next coin. The second place takes Maker. It's a project that runs the DAI decentralized stablecoin and is the most famous representative of its kind, who has virtually no competitors at the moment. It's like Tether in the world of decentralized stablecoins, which despite extreme competition and legal issues remains the top one. By the way, Maker also has certain projects, because during the March market crash, users lost around $8 million. And there's a lawsuit going on right now, because the project team is not gonna make up for any losses. To be sure, Maker has already made its investors rich, because it started trading at $27, at the peak the price hit more than $1600, and the current trade is $540. For a long time, Maker was a top 1 DeFi project until Uniswap released its own token, and DeFi got popular. But I'd point out another moment here. Maker done well before DeFi, and if that sector doesn't survive, then there'll be some new trend which was also mentioned in the review in the Altcoin Daily video. And it's highly probable that the demand for DAI stablecoin from Maker will remain at a high level, which means the price of the project management token is gonna increase. If there's a long-term threat, it's the regulator's actions, and that's something to watch very carefully. Next, we're having probably the highlight of the video, the well-known Ethereum. The current Ethereum price is $350, but many expect to see $400 again, $600 and further to infinity. Well, not forever, of course, but it could grow up to $2,000. Or maybe even compete for being a top-one cryptocurrency by capitalization with Bitcoin. 
the altcoin daily by which I prepared this video, as well as the majority of investors in the Vitalik Buterin project, place high hopes on the upgrading the network to version 2.0. But this is probably the weakest part about investing in Ethereum. They expect that a large upgrade, which is intended to solve all problems with the number and cost of transactions, should jack up the price at least twice. However, we haven't been able to see the zero phase of the POS algorithm to start. Do you know why it's called the zero phase? Because next, there's the first, the second, and so on, until we get a full Ethereum 2.0. So the process could take forever, and if Vitalik Buterin had previously said that there wouldn't be any problems, now he explains that the scaling could take a long time, and it makes sense to focus on a second-level solutions. So Ethereum's perspective is better than any of the projects I've already mentioned, and I'm gonna mention this again in this video, so don't go away and support me with your likes if you want more of these altcoin compilations for investments. Having said that, investments in Ethereum may have the longest payback period, so it's hard to tell how long this transition to the upgraded platform is gonna take. The top 4, although the altcoin daily had it as number 1 token for investment, is a synthetics project. They're not quite new to the market, they've been around since the spring of 2018. For a long time there was virtually nothing going on, and if you look at the token rate, until the summer and fall there was a hype around decentralized finance. So what's Synthetics? It's a platform for trading derivatives and, more accurately, a platform for creating cryptocurrency derivatives on virtually any assets. It's similar to Maker, you leave a deposit and get a certain token, but if Maker generates only DAI stablecoins, the price of which is pegged to the dollar, Synthetics allows you to create any assets tied to gold, oil, stock market indices or stock value of a particular company. That is, if you want to trade, for example, shares in Tesla, but you don't have a brokerage account to go to the right stock exchange, then with this project you can create the appropriate derivative and trade it on decentralized platforms. However, first of all make sure that there are people willing to participate in this trade, because it's impossible to do it alone. To sum up, Synthetics has an excellent idea with great prospects, but the success of this project will depend to a large extent on how many cryptocurrency users decide to use it to trade assets from other markets. Let me remind you how important it is to subscribe to the channel, because it's an honest bilateral treaty. You subscribe to the channel and I'll give you more exciting content. And we're moving on to the last coin for today. The token of the Compound project is now traded nearly three times cheaper than its maximum price. And as the authors of the Altcoin Daily say, this may be a good gap to buy with a prospect of further growth. They rely on the fact that Compound is the leader in cryptocurrency lending projects and that it offers excellent conditions for making money on your cryptocurrency. Because it can be put into the Compound protocol like a deposit in a bank. And this is where my regular viewers should remember that I told them that Compound is much more like banks than it seems, because the assets on this platform are being reborrowed and transferred several times. And in fact, the economics of the projects are not based on its real use, but on the comp fee for the platform work. And this is quite a big downside that was not mentioned on the altcoin daily. But I generally agree with them that if this direction keeps developing and finds its real audience, the Compound project has the best chance to secure this niche in the DeFi market. I'm looking forward to your comments with your remarks and thoughts on the mentioned coins. Subscribe to our channel and a special thanks to those who can support this clip with a repost. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. It's the Coin Post channel. Subscribe and get enlightened.